Hey friends, I am Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, we're going to be showing you the process to disassemble the base of the HP Pavilion 14 CE series of laptop. Now, the CE might be a 1001TX or a 1002TX or any extension after CE. This is a laptop that was launched two years back here in India, and uh, if you want to upgrade the RAM and if you want to put in a M.2 NVMe SSD or replace the battery or maybe replace the processor fan or entirely get access to the hard drive also then this is the video you need to watch. So let's do it. So if your laptop is something like this, it's a dual tone color on the top if it looks like this. Once you open, you have the keyboard which looks precisely like this and on the left if you have two USB ports, one headphone mic combi and a memory card reader and on the right if you have a fingerprint scanner, a C-type, HDMI and a Ethernet port and if the base is something that looks like this then you can apply this particular process. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and uh, we need to remove the screws that are hidden below the rudders here. One, two, three and four. There will be a rudder here also. So you need to remove it. Just take a pruger like this and uh, remove the rudder here like this and start removing the screws. There are no screws below these two rudders. So need not remove these rudders over here. There are screws over here. One, two and three screws have to be removed and uh, once removed, you can use this triangle prior like this and start protruding from any of the corners and it will come off very comfortably like this. Once it is removed, uh, the entire inners of the HP CE series will be visible. This is the hard drive, this is the RAM area, this is uh, M.2 SSD slot, this is the Wi-Fi chip, dual fan, battery, literally everything is visible in front of you. First thing first, we need to remove the battery. So we need to remove the screws here. After removing the screws, just need to pull it out and the battery is off. So you need to buy a HT03XL battery and this is the same battery you can buy if you want to replace the battery. In a scenario, your battery is not giving you good backup and replace it with the same one. It has a power rating of 11.5 volt and uh, 3470 mAh. Let's keep it on the one side. Now coming to the part where the hard drive is, uh, this is the hard drive strip connector. Just need to remove this notch here and remove the strip. There are two screws, one and two, which you need to remove now. Once you remove the two screws, the hard drive will be out. You can buy a 2.5 SAT hard drive or a SSD of up to 1 terabyte, a 240GB, 250GB or a 512GB or a 1 terabyte SSD also will fit fine. The form factor has to be 2.5 SATA and uh, you need to remove this strip connector over here very carefully. You just need to use your two thumb fingers and need to remove it. It's a very delicate uh, connector so be very very careful when you're uh, using it. And you need to remove uh, this rudder over here, the hard disk casing holder, this here and there are two screws that you need to remove. Once you remove, you can put another hard drive and uh, you can upgrade. Just observe how it is to be fitted back. There's this notch that is to be fitted like this here inside and over here and then it has to be pressed like this. Coming to the RAM area, this is the RAM, it's got only one slot so you can upgrade up to 16 GB. By default, the CE series comes with a 8 GB if it is a Core i5 and 4 GB if it is a Core i3. So just use the two thumb fingers and uh, remove the RAM like this. So it will be a 8 GB DDR4 inside here. The RAM that you need to buy is a DDR4 low voltage 2666 megahertz laptop RAM up to 16 GB RAM you can uh, install. Just take a similar RAM strip like this and uh, just put it back over here. and. Press it. So coming to the part where the SSD is, this is the M.2 SSD slot, just need to remove this one screw here. The models that come along with SSDs are coming with the M.2 SATA SSD. They are not coming with NVMe PCI Express SSD. You can uh, take a NVMe SSD like this. This is a PCI Express NVMe SSD and uh, you can fit it very easily like this. So depending on your budget, uh, you can buy a NVMe or a normal SSD. So these are the speakers over here, one and two. If you want to replace the fan, the, you have to remove these three screws, one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, once the fan is out, you can replace it with another fan. We'll show you how to do it. One of the fans we will show you. Just need to remove this connector here, the power supply of the processor fan. 
and you can uh, replace it with a similar fan like this or if you want to clean it also you can use this particular process so let me insert it back So this is the heat sink over here. This is the VGA display cable. This is the power uh, connector connecting to the DC jack over here. So if you want to replace the DC jack, you need to remove this hinges and uh, remove this DC jack from here and replace it with another DC jack. So this is the daughter board, which uh, has the USB as well as the headphone mic combi. This is the memory card reader. This is the keyboard cable and this is the backlit cable. So in a scenario, your keyboard is not working and you want to use a external USB keyboard for the time being, you just need to remove this notch here and remove the strip connector. In another video, we'll show you how to replace the keyboard of this laptop. this my friends was a video showing you the disassembly and upgrade process of the HP 14 Pavilion CE series of laptops and in this video we have shown you how to replace the RAM, the battery, the M.2 SSD to a faster NVMe SSD and uh, the processor fan, hard drive, replace it with another 2.5 SATA uh, SSD. So literally you can do a lot of upgrade uh, with this particular series of laptops and HP is designed it very beautifully to allow you to do these upgrades. Thanks a lot for watching guys and let us know if you have suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Uh, remember, we put in a lot of effort to get in these videos and help you out there. So don't forget to subscribe us and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much.